Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a great day. In today's video, I got a bit of an unboxing for you guys. I got three packages as you can see and one baggie that I picked up yesterday. This is the time of year for me uh, up here in Ontario where bass season starts a little bit later that I stack up on uh, fishing lures and tackle and line and reels and all that lovely stuff. So I figured I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. Some of the stuff is stuff I have confidence in that I've caught a lot of fish on and some of the stuff are brand new baits that I have yet to try and um, I cannot wait to try. So enough babbling. Let's get into the video. I am going to start off with this baggie right here and then we're going to unbox these three packages in a split second. So let's start off with this baggie right here. Like I said, I picked it up yesterday from uh, the owner of Perfect Jigs. I asked for a couple, or I guess I got a couple of custom stuff. I'm going to show you guys here in a split second. But first off, we got some jigs. We got a swim jig right here in green pumpkin blue, I believe. No, just a green pumpkin. I lied. Uh, we have two of uh, the elite jigs, personally my favorite jig at the moment. Uh, this is a black and blue, and this is a green pumpkin with some blue flake. Uh, black and blue is a staple in Florida. That's where I'm going uh, tomorrow, so I'll be needing these guys right here. And next up, we got a couple craws, actually a lot of craws. We have some black with blue flake beavers right there. You guys can see. A lot of them, hopefully this will last me the whole trip. We have some more here. We have a nice uh, watermelon with the tails dipped in like a in a orange or a red right there. Imitates a craw very well. We have a black beaver. Very looked over color, I think. Uh, no one really throws black worms or black beavers, but they do produce in that dirtier water. And we have some of their craws. I've actually really, really liked these craws right here on the back of jig trailers. You guys can see it's a green pumpkin with a red dipped uh, craws. Or claws, sorry, claws. And next up, some of the stuff that I ordered right here. We have some... Two hooks with rattles, half ounce and three fourths ounce, you guys can see right here. We have another pack of three fourths ounce, my bad. I didn't know I ordered that much. <laughs> we have two bags of Ned heads. I run through these like crazy, um, I lose a lot. So I have some in 316s and 1 8 ounce right there. I prefer the 1 8 that's why I got a lot more in, in uh, that size right there. And we have some custom chatterbaits. Now, my buddy, who's gonna be my guide, I guess you can say, down in Florida, has been whacking them on white and chartreuse chatterbaits. Um, I've heard that the Perfect Jigs custom chatterbaits are absolutely insane, so I decided to order a couple. Um, as you guys can see, we got three in chartreuse and white. Two of these are the same, and one has a little bit of a different chartreuse here. So these two are just regular white and chartreuse skirts. They're all half ounce, by the way. I pretty much only throw half ounce uh, chatterbaits. And this one's like a chartreuse and white pearl skirt right there. It's a really nice color. And we have some extra skirts. In case we want to switch something out or I lose one or something like that. So that is it for this package right here. I'm going to put everything to the side and we're going to get into the boxes. So now the boxes. I don't really remember what I ordered. I think it actually says on the package what I got, but I'm quickly going to open this up and show you guys what I picked up. Like I said, some of the stuff are staples in my bow and some of the stuff are new um, items to me. So start off with the small package right here. We'll get into the big ones next. Oh yeah. We got ourselves a Corrado K. Okay. Took me a little bit to pick up this guy. Um, I wasn't really in need of a reel, I guess you could say, until now. I will show you guys what reel I got and why I got it. Like I said, it's the Corrado K. Okay. It's a 200 size reel. I got the XG model, which is the high speed ratio, 8 1 to 1, I believe. And I got it in a left-handed retrieve. I'm a righty. 
So let me tell you guys why I, why I got it on a left-handed retrieve. Uh, this reel is going on my flipping stick, uh, my 7.6 heavy flipping stick. I got it on a left-handed re uh, retrieve so I can have my hand on the reel or on the on the handle 24 seven when I'm flipping and pitching. Um, I'll be flipping with my right hand and then having my hand on the reel with my left hand. Um, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to, but um, I think it will benefit me in the end just in case I get a bite right on the fall or something like that. I'll be able to quickly set the hook uh, having my left hand on the reel. And I just noticed my bad, this is an eight to five gear ratio, not an eight to one gear ratio. So um, really, really high speed, gonna help me um, get those fish out of the muck as fast as possible. I'm gonna pull this puppy up with 65 pound Power Pro and we will be ready to go. For the rest of this box, we got a couple goodies. We got some cross tail shads right here. This one is in Blue Pearl Shad and this one is in Ox Blood. I pretty much only really use the bigger size. I think this is a four inch size. Yeah, four inch size in the cross tail shad. They are really, really soft baits, so they have a lot of action. Um, but you do tend to lose them a little bit more than some other drop shot baits just because they are so soft. But I've had a lot of success on the crosstail shad, so I picked up a couple more. And the last bait in here is the Rhythm Wave 3.8 inch, and this one is in Prism Shad right here. Oh yeah, we got some we got some more goodies in here. Again, some more crosstail shads. I'm not quite sure how many of these I ordered. Uh, this one isn't just a green pumpkin pepper color. I use this one the most. Really nice natural color. It imitates bluegill, leeches, uh, crawfish, even a little bit. It imitates pretty much everything. Uh, we have some hats. I run through hats like absolutely crazy. My head's really small, so after a while I get a really weird kink right here just because I have sunglasses and my head's small and all that stuff, so um, I pretty much order new hats every single year just because they turn out looking ugly after a while. So this one's in a nice beige color right here. And we have a visor. This way I can have my hair up and have a hat on my head. So we got some more baits right here. Another crosstail shad. This one is in BM Shiner. Again, more of a ni nice like minnow color. So we have two packs of the Archelon. This is in uh, JL Craw and Green Pumpkin Candy. I got these guys right here uh, more for flipping. I like the uh, the cover crawl a lot, but it has a lot of appendages and it's kind of hard to get through muck. So I got two packs of these guys right here. A little bit more of a streamlined presentation for the fish. Um, I'll be able to get through mats a little bit easier with this guy right here. I have yet to use the arch lawn actually, but it looks like a really nice bait. And it has that stink that all the uh, soft plastics from Jackal do. So, we got two packs right there. We have two packs of the Sasuki. Again, a little bit more of a streamlined craw. One's in Cream Pumpkin Candy, one's in Black and Blue Flake. I'll show you guys one of these real quick. But this is a little bit bigger craw, as you guys can see. Again, something I would use uh, for flipping. You just split the appendages right there. Nice big presentation. Probably a lot of action underwater just because these flappers are so big. But, like I said, more streamlined. And again, it stinks. <laughs> we have two more packs of the Rhythm Wave 3.8 inch. If you guys haven't noticed, I love these. Um, I use them as my trailers, I use them on jig heads. I've caught a lot of smallmouth on these guys right here. These are both in Green Pumpkin. Uh, I use these guys a lot for trailers mostly. And like I said, on jig heads. And then we got two of the Jackal Rearrange 110 size jerk baits. Got one in, this is like a sexy shad color, SG Threadfin Shad, and one in, woo, RT Minnow. The RT Minnow looks absolutely crazy. I'll show you guys that in a second. Just a 110 size uh, jerk bait. It has a nice, like, tungsten weight transferring system on the back. Uh, but yeah, this is a shallow diving jerk bait. I think it dives to like four, four feet ish, maybe. Yeah, dives to about four feet. So let me show you guys this RQ minnow. It looks absolutely insane. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that. 
but it's an absolutely insane color. Nice, natural, minnow looking presentation. That's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be, it's gonna be money bait right there. And the last item in this box, we're going big. This is the Jackal Ganter Rail. This is, I guess you could say, my first uh, big swim bait. I have a couple more, you guys will see in a second, um, in another unboxing that I ordered. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get into the swim bait game with this guy right here. Let me take it out of the package. I got an RT Bluegill. That is it right there. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Beautiful finish on this guy right here. Um, it weighs two and a half ounces, dives to about three feet, I believe. You can add a weight to the front on this hook tie right here so you can nose dive a little bit deeper, uh, or you can try using it for bed fishing and all that stuff. Wicked bait. I cannot wait to catch fish on this guy right here. So on to the last box. Let's have a peek what's inside. We got some more goodies. So we got some of the new Jackal Rhythm Waves right here. This is in uh, SS Shad. This is one of the new colors. Um, a nice, like, translucent, I don't know what even what to call it. It's like a chartreuse, green pumpkin, green flake kind of color. Uh, it looks absolutely insane. I actually got the 2.8 size for perch and for drop shotting. I can see this being, for this color being a really, really good drop shot bait right there. So I got two of those. You always gotta buy two because you never know when you're on a hot bite and you run out. Another new color from the Rhythm Wave. This is Blue Pearl Shad. You guys can see right here. I got in a 4.8 size just for a little bit bigger profile and uh, for Florida, of course. But um, that's a nice, just natural looking color. Has a lot of silver flake in there too. Nice color. And then we got another one in the 4.8 inch. This is in the uh, SS Shad right there. This is another hot new bait from Jackal. This is called the Riser Bait. As you guys can see right here, I got this in uh, bluegill, some regular bluegill color. I'll take it out of the package and show you guys. Um, brand new bait from Jackal, like I said, came out this year. It is made to imitate a fleeing bait fish. Um, I wish I could show you guys the action on this right now, but I can't. You guys can go like on YouTube and try to Google the action on this guy right here. It's absolutely insane. Mimics a fleeing bait fish perfectly. That is it right there. It's a very, very small bait, as you guys can see, like a 2.8 size, and it has that lip on the top. So it kind of, it's not, it, I wouldn't call it a surface bait. It's kind of like a surface bait slash subsurface bait. It uh, just kind of, wobbles back and forth. And then we got some more baits, of course. You can never have enough baits. Right here. I do not remember, did I order this? Must have ordered this. I don't know I ordered so many Rhythm Waves, but we got some more in SS Shad. This is a 3.8 inch. You guys can see. As you guys can see, I'm very excited about this color <laughs> as well. And we have some more Rhythm Waves in here. And the other new color in the Blue Pearl Shad, some 3.8 inches. Okay, that's a lot of swim baits, guys. But that is a wrap for all of my unboxings today. I'm very excited to try these new swim baits, and I'm very excited to try this guy right here. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful swim bait, and uh, I cannot wait to catch a fish on this guy right here. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to Perfect Jigs and Jackal and Shimano down below if you guys want to have a peek. Yeah, I have to get to organizing and get to packing for my trip. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.